Hello! Today my video is going to be a how I did my makeup in high school video. And I put on my high school cheer uniform. Hold on, let me show you. So I put on my high school cheer uniform for the first part of this video because I was a cheerleader in high school. So I didn't end up cheering the whole time that I was in high school. I actually only cheered my freshman year and there was so much drama and politics. My sophomore, junior, senior year, I was like so over high school. I hated high school, everything about it. Like my experience with cheer was really ugly and there was so many mean girls and just high school sucked. I hated high school because people were just fucking mean as fuck. And so because of that, like my friend group was already like the bros. I'm from SoCal, Southern California. I live in the 714, which is right next to the 909 and the 951. Welcome to the 951, motherfucker. <laughs> Where's my bros and all my hoes? 951 is the place we roll. We stay posted in Southern Cali. And so like the bro scene back then was like huge and I was in it so I just like totally turned into this like bro ho who truly didn't give a fuck at all especially because my experience with cheer that's a whole nother story but yeah it was just like to be that young and deal with that shit just really made me be like fuck you guys and so anyways I started off high school as this cute little blonde goody two-shoe cheerleader because in high school if you're in a sport you have to get like a certain certain GPA and you have to like maintain this good image whatever but um because of all the drama and politics with that I was just like you know what fuck you guys and then I turned into this little broho but I wanted to start this video in my cheer uniform just a because it's funny b because it still fits me and c because I started high school as a cheerleader and then by the end of it I was this like rebellious little broho girl but anyways if you want to see how I did my makeup in high school and maybe even a couple funny high school pictures oh my god they're horrible then please keep watching <laughs> Okay, so I went ahead and I changed my shirt. I chose this shirt because it's literally from high school. Yeah, this is one of the few shirts that I kept because it's still cute and I like it. It's a Famous Stars and Strap shirt. They probably don't make this one anymore. I literally bought this at Tilly's like 10 years ago, but here's an old photo of me wearing it. Um, <laughs> I actually still wear this shirt because I like it, but it was one of my bro-ho shirts, whatever. I had so many more. Like, I I wore, what did I wear? I wore SoCal, I wore Skin, I wore Mob Inc, I wore Meta Militia, I wore DGAF, I wore SRH. Dude, I had a birthday cake, an SRH birthday cake. Like, that's how dedicated I was. I went to every single KMK show that was in Orange County, like, literally just obsessed with the scene. Um, anything broho, dude, my room was black and bright pink and zebra print. Like, yeah, people used to call me bro ho Barbie in high school because I had bleach blonde hair and I was just this little bro ho. I wanted to recreate my makeup from high school because it was so ridiculous. Honestly, like, there was only one way that I wore my makeup. I used the same products all the time. But anyways, let's finally get started. So the first thing I would do in high school was apply my face. Now this specific powder isn't the one I used to use in high school, but it's very simple. Maybelline used to have this like silver, it was in like a silver package. It was so similar to this. Honestly, this is like the same. It's probably the same formula, just a different packaging now. And it was just like a really heavy duty powder. I guess almost like a powder foundation. But they don't have that specific one anymore. So I went ahead and bought this one because I think that it will suffice. I did test it out already. That's why my sponge is already dirty. This is a sponge that came with it and you bet your ass I'm gonna use this. So in high school, I would just use this sponge. It would 
would be disgusting and obviously I never clean this. It would just be so like gunked on there and cakey that the texture of the sponge would like change I guess because I just used it all the time. But what I did was I just dipped into the powder like so and you're just gonna wipe it on there like that. You know there's no like real technique to my high school makeup routine just you want to cover your face for sure with this crap. And probably the tanner it is the better you know because when you're a bro ho back in 2007 you want to be like orange because that was the color to be. So yeah no real technique uh, you probably don't blend it down your neck either you just swipe it all over your face. Also you want to cover your lips because if you're a bro ho in 2007 you might also even like purposely buy concealer to use as lipstick. Yeah I'm sure some of you remember that. We would literally put concealer on our lip because you want your lips to literally blend in with your face. <laughs> Yeah, I just remember caking this stuff on. Like, that's probably good. That's good, right? And then, like, by the end of the day, this would, like, you know, eventually my skin's natural oils would, like, make it set more, and it would end up, like, almost either coming off or, like, absorbing into my skin. So it would look a little less powdery and cakey. But definitely when you start your day, you want to look like you have powder for skin. <laughs> so now that I have my base on, let's go to our eyes. We're not going to contour we're not gonna use blush no bronzer no highlight like what is that um I did I definitely didn't use any of that I did not contour my face all I did was put powder because I wanted to look really flat and matte and just like this this is perfect so we're gonna move on to our eyes no we're not gonna do eyebrows we're just gonna leave them like this powdery and not done and back in the day my eyebrows were so thin like this clearly they weren't done they were very thin I used to pluck the shit out of my eyebrows like when I was doing my eyebrows I was picturing Pamela Anderson in the 90s or like I don't know some bleach blonde 90s porn star with super thin eyebrows that's what I wanted so that's what I did I would just pluck the shit out of my eyebrows until they were non-existent never drew them in no way so I'm gonna take one of these eyeliner pencils these are the same ones I used to use in high school and it's just a little pencil like this and what I would do with this is I would draw a line above my lashes like this like so it would not be a nice line it would not be a winged line it would just literally be an ugly half ass line above my eyelashes and by the way this pencil is like hurting my eyelid because it's like super rough and hard and dry it's not like a glide on pencil it's not a soft coal pencil actually now that I'm thinking of it I think I remember my friends taking a lighter and melting their pencils so it would go on like smoother and darker. Okay so after I had drawn that line I would take the same sponge that I applied my powder with and that line just so it gets a little smudgy and isn't like such a harsh line. So there. Okay so after I applied that eyeliner I would go in with my eyeshadow. Now there was only two eyeshadows that I ever Ever used I always use the same color there was no variety in my makeup bag there is no variety in my makeup look literally wore the same makeup and makeup look every single day and these are the eyeshadows that I would use they're the single shadows from Maybelline and I used the taupe one and the black one and I literally only had two makeup brushes in my makeup bag back then I had one that looked like this just a kind of fluffy blending brush and then um, like a big angled brush. They were only used for eyeshadow. I absolutely never ever ever washed my makeup brushes. That thought didn't even cross my mind. I actually didn't even know that you were supposed to wash your makeup brushes back then. So never. And they were just like ratchet and old and I used them every day for like four years and yeah never washed them. Let my homegirls use them too. So it just had everybody's germs, old crusty makeup, like just disgusting. But it worked. So let's just pretend these are the same ones from high school and we're gonna take this one right here and we're gonna dip into the taupe shadow and back then you don't care about fallout you don't care about anything you're just gonna like viciously rub your brush in your eyeshadow and then whatever's on there you're not gonna tap it out because who cares if you get fallout right you're just gonna take this and wipe it on there with like horrible technique and you're just gonna start blending
blending like this with windshield wiper motions. No circular motions back then because like I said, um, I didn't really know what I was doing. Oh yeah, by the way, back in my day, I think we did have YouTube, but it was nothing like it is now. I mean, I graduated high school almost 10 years ago. So like it's been over 10 years since I was actually in high school and we did have YouTube, but I feel like it was just starting out. There was no like, it, yeah, nobody watched makeup tutorials back then. There was no Instagram back then, like no way. So that's why everyone was way uglier than they are now. Does this mean I'm old? I think it does. Okay, let's zoom you in. That's probably about right. That looks, that looks about right. So now that we've done our eyeshadow, we're going to add some black eyeshadow. We're going to use that big angled brush and just dip into this black. Using upward swiping motions, I guess, you're going to start at your lower lash line and kind of place this like on top of where that eyeliner was. And you're just going to kind of drag it up a little bit onto your eyelid. This looks correct. Yeah. Does that look right? That does look right. Yeah. You know, you, you created like a smoky eye. And then after you got that how you wanted it, this looks this looks pretty good. It does. Then you take that same black eyeliner and you absolutely put this in your waterline because putting black in your waterline, I know it's still a thing, but it was a huge thing back then also. Like, oh my god. Yeah, when I learned that you put pencil in your waterline, my waterline was always black. And then you also line your lower lash line. My eyes were so dark, like, like this, for example. I used to wear my eye makeup so black like my eyes my poor little I was like panda like my poor little eyes were just black panda raccoon whatever that's how I used to wear my eyes so black just like black circles like let's just turn my eyes into black circles the blacker the better like this perfect and then you want to take that sponge again and smudge that line out again because you want it to be blended yeah I remember just spending hours on this makeup look hours where my mom would be like dude you have a problem you spend way too much time on your makeup and this makeup look is just so simple i don't understand how it took me hours but it definitely did so after you smudge out that black eyeliner on your lower lash line then you want to go back in with this brush and a little bit more of that black eyeshadow and you want to put more black eyeshadow you just want to put black eyeshadow and just make it even darker and then you want to take that fluffier brush that you used previously you're not going to clean it off you're just going to use it the way it is and like go back and forth down here to just blend blend this lower lash line out perfect now we're done with our eyes like i said we're not touching the brows because back then like i didn't know that i was supposed to do my brows no nobody ever told me to do my brows people my girlfriends didn't do their brows either like we didn't do our brows we just left them natural the way they were and plucked the shit out of them but we did use mascara so I actually used to use this mascara in high school I repurchased this one but um like more towards the end of high school I think this came out and we would use this it actually even smells just like high school like it's bringing me back just the smell the mascara I used was the same shape container it was also from Maybelline but it was like a dark royal blue mascara I don't know if anyone remembers that I don't think they sell it anymore they don't sell it at my CVS or my Target but they do sell this one and I did use this one in high school also so we'll use this for the video but I would literally like scrape the thing even if it was new I would just like twirl my brush around like you want to get as much gunk on there as you can and you're going to go like this on your eyelashes and just load the mascara on there I literally actually like now that I'm remembering I think I would spend like an hour just doing my mascara mascara was like a big deal to me I did not wear fake eyelashes in high school. Maybe my senior year I did, but I didn't wear fake eyelashes until I was older. I would just load on the mascara. Dude, this is scary. I literally looked the same as I did in high school. That's scary. So this is how I would do it, is I would do one super thick coat of mascara. So can you see the difference? This one has mascara and this one doesn't. And then I would just go back and forth on my eyes for hours, hours. And honestly, the older and drier the mascara was, the better. Even to this day, I prefer my mascaras a little bit like drier. Does that make sense? Spider lashes, you want your lashes to look like insect legs, maybe even beetle legs. Like you want them thick as fuck. <laughs> 
Oh my god, I even remember like I would sleep with my makeup on in high school Sometimes my makeup would just look so good that I would so good that I would sleep with it on and then you know It would be like makeup from yesterday and I would just touch it up and go over my already thick ridiculous eyelashes again with like another hours long coat of mascara does that even make sense or sometimes when I would sleep with my makeup on I would pick off the mascara from the day before and just redo my eyelashes oh my god that's disgusting but I did and then I'd go to school and people would be like wow your makeup looks so good and I'd be like oh really I slept with it on I just redid it like I just touched it up <laughs> and surprisingly I never had acne my skin was like so good in high school and I feel like it was even better because I didn't wash my face I would sleep with makeup on I feel like it was like a protective layer almost because now that I wash my face all the time I feel like my skin's worse is that even can that happen okay so now that you have your eyelashes just jam-packed with mascara you like to live life on the edge as a teenager and you want to get your safety pin or needle something very sharp and very thin and you want to use this right next to your eye like the one place you shouldn't put a needle you're going to because you need to separate your eyelashes so I used to separate my lashes with a needle or a safety pin just to get them like precise you know the ones that are like too clumped together you got to break them up and in order to do that like what works better than a needle nothing and if you film me and you used to do this or still do you've probably poked your eye before and let me just tell you it hurt really bad but you don't care you're gonna keep doing it because that's just the way it is perfect this is looking so high school and I think I did I don't know let me look at a picture hold on I think I used to put mascara on my lower lash line definitely did yes ew look at this photo <laughs> gross. So definitely put mascara on my lower lash line. Honestly, my makeup skills did not even improve until like the last recent like two years, three years, four years, like four years. Moving on to lip gloss, I would always use this one from Wet n Wild. I think I did start using lip liner in high school, but not until like senior year. But this is the one that I would use most often. This one is from Wet n Wild. It used to be like 99 cents, but it is since gone up in price. I think this was like almost $3 when I bought it yesterday. And it is the shade Rose Gold, literally the same shade I always use. And it still smells the same. And this is the lip gloss I would use. I literally started using this in like sixth grade and it just always was like a staple for me. And I would just put it on over my foundation covered lip. And sometimes wouldn't even put on lipstick, would just leave my lips covered in foundation so they blend in with my face. And that's just how we would do it. And yeah, like I said, some girls were even, I think myself included, would buy concealer specifically for our lips. And we'd put on like almost white concealer on our lip and have black eyes and that was just the way we did it and then you throw on your zebra print shirt and some of those like big huge platform sandals from footsies and a mini skirt and you just are good to go this color is actually really pretty but this is so me oh yeah and you see this hole here that was a piercing that I got when I was 15 so I would definitely wear that piercing as well maybe I should like accentuate that hole so obviously in high school I did not accentuate the hole the reason I'm accentuating the hole is so you get the full effect there so I had a piercing there it would usually be like a cute diamond maybe a silver ball whatever but I did have a piercing there which I loved and I would wear all the time I still have the scar it doesn't exist anymore I can't put anything through it because it's closed on like the inside part of my lip but I did have a piercing there and I loved it this is bringing me back <laughs> Wow, so yeah, this is how I would wear my makeup in high school. Literally looks so the same. Oh, this one, here we go. I remember taking this and just thinking I was so freaking hot. Look at that white hair. My hair is bleach blonde, platinum. I think I had some dark streaks in it because that was the thing to do back then. My bangs are literally like to my eyebrow. My bangs were this short because my hair was so fried in every picture. The duck lips, but the like, We'd be like this in pictures, like, or I don't even know what I thought was cool back then, but, um, scary. <laughs> So this is how I used to do my makeup in high school, horrendously, no eyebrows, no sense of talent 
anywhere. Um, and I loved it. Loved my high school makeup. My hair would look like this all the time, just like half-ass straightened and like I would just hold, move it to the side all the time. And literally this is what I looked like in high school, minus the tattoos, plus the piercing. Um, yeah, this is my high school makeup routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys got to laugh a little bit. I hope you got a little bit of enjoyment out of seeing those old, horrendous, hideous photos. Obviously the point of this video was not to teach you how to do this look. I mean, unless you like it, then you could do it, but it was more like to laugh at me. But um, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, make sure you're subscribed. If you haven't subscribed already, I'm posting new videos once a week, so you don't want to miss out. Also, if you're not already following me on my other social media channels, the links for those are in the description box, as well as some coupon codes. If you're interested, you guys can go check those out. Leave any comments or questions down below in the comment section and don't forget to turn on your bell notification so you get notified when I post a video. But anyways, I will see you guys next week. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!